Here are the top five most chill dog breeds. Number five is the Basset Hound. Meet a dog with ears so long they sometimes trip on them. Basset Hounds were originally bred in France where they were prized as hunting dogs. Those stubby little legs on a sausage body give them the perfect build for tracking game through the brush in the countryside. And being so low to the ground keeps the large noses close to the scent trail. And check out these big paws that look just like squishy little pillows. Although they are adorable, Basset Hounds do have a stubborn side. They tend to follow their noses and wander off. These dogs are calm and relaxed indoors, and they love the company of their human family. So if you're looking for a mellow companion with only moderate exercise needs, then maybe a Basset Hound is right for you. Number four on our list is the English Bulldog. I call these dogs the masters of chill. Although they were first bred for the cruel practice of bull baiting during the 1800s, today's English Bulldogs are bred to be companions. They're more comedians than fighters. Bulldogs are a brachycephalic breed. This means they are bred to have short, upturned noses. And while this trait does give them their unique appearance and character, it can cause other issues. Because they breathe through their mouths and swallow a lot of air, English Bulldogs can be one of the gassiest breeds. Although their personalities vary, this laid-back breed tends to be patient and tolerant with children. If you're looking for a friend that enjoys relaxation as much as you do, maybe an English Bulldog is the right choice for you. The lovable pug is number three on our list. These quirky characters bring laughter and smiles. Pugs originated in China and later became popular with English royalty. Like bulldogs, pugs are brachycephalic and their folds and wrinkles require frequent cleaning. These dogs are playful and energetic at times, but they definitely prefer shorter walks and they sometimes insist on being carried home. At around one foot in height, pugs don't require a lot of space. This makes them ideal for apartment and city living. If you're looking for a dog that enjoys playtime as much as nap time, consider owning a pug. In second place is the Great Dane. Despite being one of the largest dog breeds, Great Danes do surprisingly well indoors. Despite their name, this breed originated in Germany where they were bred by nobles for hunting and protection. Just how big are they? Well, a Great Dane can reach up to 44 inches in height. Not many dogs can hold a basketball in their mouth like this. And while their size may seem intimidating, these dogs are gentle and affectionate. They require less exercise than most dogs their size. So if you prefer a dog that's large, but also gentle and laid back, a Great Dane might be a good choice. And number one on our list is any older shelter dog. The breed or combination of breeds doesn't really matter. It's just much easier for puppies that are homeless to find their forever home than it is for senior dogs. When you go to the shelter, it's not just about you choosing the dog. Sometimes the dog chooses you. And you might be bringing him to the first real home he's ever had. And while he may not be with you for as long as a puppy, you will have the chance to make his golden years their very best. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.